Okay, it looks like the Imperium is about to strike back. Who's the Imperium? Well, obviously it's the Germans, the ones that Neo is comparing against and competing with. BBA, that's how we call them in China, BMW, Venture or Mercedes-Benz in China and Audi. So in this video, I'm quickly going to tell you what I'm seeing happening currently in the industry and with that also what this possibly means for NIO and our investment. Before I talk about this signing ceremony, let's look at some numbers here. For example, these are numbers by the German Handelsblatt and they're showing that the production is now down minus 23% for Volkswagen, minus 8.4% for Audi, minus 10% for BMW and minus 30% for Mercedes. And that's only for Germany, but this means we are about to find out like how much of the recent wealth doing of these companies was actually about inflation, stimulus and a large demand still for ICE cars which by the way have been uh, you know sold at quite a bit of discount quite recently. And if we're looking to China things don't look quite much better right? Well at least we have to say the Germans are making good business in China since quite a while actually. But if we look at the, the new segment right the EV segment I've done this chart before and excuse me these are not the latest numbers but frankly what you can see here is that um, NIO is even outperforming one of those legacy automakers like BMW the only one who can kind of compete on here. If you look for Audi or Mercedes-Benz then you'll see that they have an issue with selling EVs in this current segment in China. Now I said the empire is striking back for a reason right because these guys are clearly not going to give up at this market especially not the Chinese market with this importance and we are seeing here for example a signing ceremony with Audi Audi AG and FAW Group. So this is the joint venture partner in the north for um, Volkswagen. And um, you know they're making deals now and partnerships. And I said here on the channel before that Audi might be looking into partnering with a local brand in order to get their EVs up and going. Now Audi is not the only one. BMW is also investing in a new uh, R&D center in Shanghai and most famously also Volkswagen Group is investing 1 billion US dollars or euros um, in Hefei, that's right, close to NIO and also bumping up their R&D and working on a new factory for their MEB platform. And finally, Western media are now also reporting that Saic, so that's the joint venture partner of Volkswagen in the south of China, and um, Audi have now agreed, well, we don't have too much news about in detail, but they have sort of agreed to use the platform of the IM Motors. So that's the NEV startup by Site Motors and Audi will possibly um, use this in order to come up faster with some um, EV models in China. So with that, I have two things to say. The first one is, it's very clear that the Germans are not giving up on China. No, instead they're doubling down, they're investing, they're partnering up and you know they're committing to this market and I think especially in times where we speak about decoupling, de-risking, the Chinese will take that really seriously and will be very happy about it. and they will remember this and give I think also the Germans some concessions here. In which way? I don't know yet. However, I think that's a strong commitment in contrast to for example Ford getting out of the Chinese market or lots of the um, other Asian players like from Japan or South Korea they see that their sales are going down, they're giving up on it and the Chinese will take over. For the Germans, I think they may have a good chance actually of staying in the market. Maybe not as big as they have been before. However, with such kind of a commitment, if they manage to keep up with some good uh, models there and, you know, progressing also on the innovation front, it seems like given their tradition and their branding, they have actually a good chance at staying relevant in the Chinese market. That's just my personal view. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. The second point is about NEO and I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I'm not playing with your fear because I know that this works. And of course, this is a threat to NEO. You know, like um, there is a rumor going out there which says that in uh, June, July, we should, we should actually already start seeing good numbers for the Audi e-tron. I've showed you the numbers before which were very, very weak, but it shows you that, you know, the Imperium, the, the big players, they are fighting back. They're not giving up and that means intensified competition for NEO of course because these are you know the players where uh, NEO really wants to compete with where I frankly think NEO has the, the better offering like the better cars the better ecosystem really well positioned also lower priced a little bit so it's gonna be a hard time for BBA here to to catch up however 
seeing what's going on here with all of these deals and investments, we shouldn't be naive. They are fighting back, right? So this is something that NEO needs to worry about and care about. How can NEO stay relevant with a small, you know, being a small startup with a minor cash balance with not a, a big partner so far? And that's again where I'm going. I think for NEO, it's time to make some deals, find a partner, um, announce something big, is it the Abu Dhabi investment? So far, I don't see the strategic advantage of that regarding this threat that I'm pointing out here. So let me know in the comments what you think will be the answer by NEO or do you think that NEO can actually succeed against such kind of a competition? Let me know. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.